Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. And say you got yourself a new Apple TV 4K, or perhaps you have an existing Apple TV and you just picked up a new Siri remote to go along with. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through pretty much every gesture swipe control that you need to know to get the most out of your updated 2021 Siri remote. So let's go ahead and take a quick trip over to the living room. So here we are in front of the new Apple TV with the updated Siri remote. So let's take a quick tour of the buttons on the remote before we get started. So on the top right hand corner, you can see we have the power button. The power button can be used to turn off your TV as well as your Apple TV. It's right next to a microphone which is used when using the Siri button, which has been handily been relocated to the side. Back to the front. On top we have a new directional pad, so it is a four-way D-pad, so you can click on either of the edges, as well as in the center, and it's also swipe sensitive. The menu button has been replaced by a back button. We have the TV button, a remote up and down, play pause, and a brand new mute button. Now let's look at how all these controls work together. First, let's look at some home screen basics. Wherever you are on your home screen, all you have to do is hold on that center button, to make your app jiggle and go into edit mode. And you can do this on each app icon. So find the one that you're looking to uh, edit or remove or move around your screen. Just hold down that center button, it'll start jiggling. Now while you're in jiggle mode, you can go ahead and move that icon around by swiping to get it into the right spot you're looking for or press play pause to bring up additional controls like making a new folder, moving it to the store, or if it is a third party app, such as maybe the A and E app. I'm done with it, I hit play pause, and they also have the option to delete it. So all that can be done by tapping that play pause button when you are in jiggle mode on an app. And whether you're in this menu or in jiggle mode, just press the back button to exit. Now, while you are on your home screen, you can press this back button again to jump all the way to the top. And when you're here, press one more time and you've just turned on your screensaver manually. Press any button, to wake your TV back up. To navigate, you can use the D-pad at the top. You can press on the sides, you can press up and down, or if you prefer from the old Siri remote, you can just swipe. It swipes just as it did before. So you can use these handy gestures if you prefer that, or you can press the actual buttons if that's easier. When you find something you want, just press the center button to click. While in an app, if you want to quickly get back to the home screen no matter where you are, hold down that back button and boom, instantly the home screen. So whether you're in a bunch of different menus, an app, a game, hold down that button and you'll go to the home screen. If we go back into the TV app, we can double click the TV button to open up the app switcher. So we can jump between any recent app that we've had open and go back to it that way. Again, hold back home button to go back to the home screen or if just in an app, press it once. As an add-in bonus, while you're in the app switcher, simply swipe up to remove and force quit any application that has been giving you problems. If you want to open up Control Center, simply hold down the TV button and it will slide over on the right hand side of your screen where you can get access to user profiles, sleep all connected devices, control any media that's currently playing, airplay options, universal search, or open up your HomeKit information such as all of your cameras and favorite scenes. Also, anytime while you're playing back content, you can bring up that timeline and swipe up to get to picture in picture. Click on that to enter picture in picture mode, at which point you can go back to your home screen, enter in any other apps, and do anything else that you'd like, uh, such as play a game while your video is going. Tap on the Apple TV button there to bring up controls for it, including going back to full screen, exiting picture in picture, or changing location. While playing back content, you can scroll your finger around the jog wheel for very granular control frame by frame of exactly where you'd like to play or pause. So go really quickly or go very far back. Apple says this was inspired by the iPod Classics click wheel design. Whenever you find a spot that you'd like to stay, simply let go and click down on the center. If you ever have to force restart your Apple TV for any reason, simply press down and hold onto the back and TV buttons at the same time. Hold that for a few seconds until you see the light flash in the front of the Apple TV and then let go and the box will restart. Finally, when you're done, hold the power button, 
to turn off all connected devices. So that's it. That's everything you need to know. So whether you got that older Apple TV and a new Siri remote or just a new Apple TV in general, that is everything that you need to know to get the most out of your Siri remote. Let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you have any questions, throw those up in the comments.